sorry about that. Um, we'll try to get that situated in a little bit, but we are going to hop into this one right now. Uh, and already pretty even so far. Uh, just talking into it after trying to get that worked out. Um, let's see. Uh, Summer is playing a lot more uh, in close uh, than would be his norm. Uh, which should give Coach Pun a little more opportunity to get the damage that he needs in order to kill. So I'm wondering why Summer Hayes is rushing in like this. You just switch headsets, see if that works out. Okay, that might be a little bit better. So we see, okay, now now he's starting to play a lot more with the, uh, the Lloyds and the uh, forwarder backers. And uh, he's keeping him a little bit more on his toes. Getting the tree growth, not going to connect just yet, though. But the Lloyd will collide with the tree, actually. And he doesn't have an axe on it yet, if I'm not... Oh, no, he does. Okay. Just didn't see that little slit there. Oh, almost a uh, read on that roll. But we're seeing... Just a little bit more. Oh, he's going to get... Oh, just missed the platform. He should be able to live through that. Yeah, if he caught platform, that definitely would have killed Opting for a low recovery, which is always safe. Didn't get the uh, three turn up. That's the one thing with Villager. The spike only works if you get the three turn ups, and that's a one in three chance. Uh, growing the tree, but he's not going to get any. Okay, he just missed the uh, from the roll. Um, and he's always opting for the low recovery, which is really nice against the Bowser, uh, because he can definitely throw out like a back air and I'll take out. And I, I think that was Slingshot that was actually able to take out. Uh, Bowser. And the spike! Oh my gosh, what a spike from Summer Haze! Oh my gosh! That was incredible. Eat your turnips, Bowser. Eat your vegetables. Oh boy. No one expected it to end like that, but wow. That was incredible. And uh, Coach opting this shift to Ness. I like this a little bit more. Uh, he's uh, less of a, a bigger body to get hit from those uh, projectiles. And the uh, the aerial. Ness is uh, one of the best uh, air dodges in the game. So it should be able to help out with uh, his walling. And he does have pro uh, more projectile game than uh, Bowser. So this is a definite better pick. Okay, fire. He's trying to... Alright, yeah. Good forward air strings. He's really practiced with that, so... I'm not sure how viable that's going to be, uh, the PK fire trying to stuff out the, uh, ledge get up, because as we just saw, the balloons will be able to stuff out the, uh, the hit of it. But he is doing a very good job. He has pretty much the entirety of stage control for, uh, for this match for right now. But Summer Hayes trying to look to respond, and he does with a <laughs> bowling ball on stage. And Coach Pun has got to be really thinking what the shift in his gameplay here in order to edge this out, because Summer is can play a lot more comfortably now that he has the stock advantage. Tried to get the growth on it, but it just withered away at that last instant. Good uh, job with the uh, PK Fire uh, disrupting the Lloyd and making him explode, too. Tries to catch with the down smash. Not going to find it because he just waited on stage. But a back air will send Summer Haze back out to the ledge. And Summer Hayes, like I said, all he has to do is just wait for the right moment to throw out those projectiles. He can just sit comfortably. He does want to avoid that platform, though, because at 96, he is getting dangerously close to a kill throw. But he is just tacking on the damage where it counts, racking it up, but a back throw, not going to do it. Uh, good DI, and he pockets the PK Thunder! Gets clipped, so he has to re-grab here. Okay, no. Coach Pun forces him back out. PK fires stuff out, but he goes with an up air to uh, disrupt with a shark. Right now, he's just got to find his right way in. He's Coach is fishing for this grab right now. It's the it's the pretty much uh, guaranteed way he'll get the kill. He finally gets one, but he is at 93%. He has to play very carefully. He's got to yeah find his opportune moments, which yeah shielding in close is good. Um. And again, a little bit more projectile game, even though uh, Summer Haze likes to throw out those uh, back air forward airs in the air most of the time. Well, obviously, that's where he has to throw them out, but he doesn't do like a full hop with them. He sticks relatively close to the ground, though. So, he's got to find a way to cut him off, but a back throw will give Summer Haze stage advantage. 
or stage control, really. He did have the three turn up there, but uh, Coach was able to get back up. And uh, he's definitely not out of this. If he can get a grab and three forward air strings, he can definitely turn this around, or get at least a little bit closer. Almost had a grab opportunity there, but a little bit close. But the t up tilt coming through, through the dash attack. And Summer Hayes takes it 2-0 against Coach Pun. And Coach Pun was not happy with that performance. Yeah, he is shaking his head and his uh, head's in his palm right now. Yeah, he knew he was a little bit reckless with that. So, yeah. That's tough to see. That's a really tough break for Coach Pun. But, you know, things happen and uh, you just got to prove your worth out in uh, losers. Yeah, he's still in the tournament, Sock Tubi, so. I know, but, like, going from winners to losers is a huge, huge, like, definitive, like, oh, man, what am I going to do now? Because, like, the security of just being in winners is good because, like, the next loss, you're out of the tourney. So, obviously, that's a huge psychological blow to all the players out there. And so we're going to see Delibird, by the looks of it, hop up on the stream, and he will be facing... Who is that? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, hopefully he'll do well in Losers, uh, the Panda. I'd love to see Coach Pawn. He, he gets, like, the most excited, uh, and, like, he, get, he has, like, the best pop-offs and stuff like that, too, so... I like to see him happy, and, like, he, he's, he's always, uh, like... Uh, one of the best people to like be on stream and even commentate on stream. He's definite hype uh, commentator and definitely hype hype uh, player too as well. So, so let me get my phone out to see the rest of the bracket. I'll get this set up here. It looks like we'll have sink versus false. Let me close this door while we're at it.